I was sad and lonely under the covers. It felt like I was locked up in a tunnel or abandoned in the back of a shed being used as a generator. But thankfully, it only lasted a couple of days. The workman and Mr. Mack moved the covers and talked to me. I hope you're sorry, Scarlowie. If we let you move again, are you going to behave and do what you are told? Oh, yes, sir. Please, sir. I'll behave this time, sir. I promise. Good. Mr. Bobby here will help you work on this railway for a while. I was glad Mr. Bobby was going to help me. He was one of the men who built me, and I liked him. I pushed and pulled some trucks every day till my wheels ate. One morning, the inspector was to arrive, and Mr. Bobby said, Come on, Star Louis. Let's show the inspector on how hard you work on the island. We worked hard all day. The inspector was impressed. I really like how this engine works. I think you should stay on the rail. I was very pleased to hear that. I continued to work very hard. By the time the railway was complete, Reneus was the new engine. He wasn't like me at all. He was never excited or jumpy. He would work with the trucks without any complaints. And yet he was younger than me. One day, I came up to him with excitement and said, Oh boy, Reneus, I'm so excited for tomorrow. And I need to look my best because do you know why? Why? Because I'll finally be pulling the express train tomorrow and the expector will be there too. I've been waiting for this day to come. Then you better be careful and mind your books and bouncing. Then the coaches and passengers won't like that at all. <laughs> I've never seen you board coaches before, so how would you know? And I puffed away. There were four coaches on the railway. They were all females, but they didn't bother me at all. Their names were Agnes, Ruth, Jemima and Beatrice. When I got to the shed, they were sleeping, so I blew a big whistle and said, Good morning, sleepyheads. Mm -hmm. Who is it? Don't worry, he's one of the new engines. He's going to take us out. Hmm, well, I don't like the looks of this one, so we must be aware of the strange engines and must be on our guard. <laughs> oh, Agnes, our guard has barely arrived. There's no worry about that at all. I coupled up to all four coaches and happily puffed towards the station. Agnes was still suspicious and kept muttering to the other coaches. Be on your guard! Be on your guard! I was too excited to listen, but I wish I did. When I was at the station, Neil was there with the inspector. I was thrilled to see him and prove that I'm a useful engine. I backed up to Agnes and I didn't care if she was going to give me a dirty look. I was just having so much fun. Oh, this is so much fun. I'm glad I'm pulling the train with the inspector today. You may be looking after us today, but we're keeping an eye on you, Scarlowy. Now I listened to what she said, and I took it seriously. But Agnes didn't complain about our journey. I made sure we were having a smooth ride. We would stop at every station, and the manager and inspector would get out and admire the arrangements. Everything went well. I completely forgot about what I missed and continued being happy and excited. The manager was smiling for how well the ride was going. He asked my crew if he could join them and see how I worked. They said yes. Oh, wow, Mr. Bobby. This looks really easy. Can I try controlling him, please? Absolutely. Just let us teach you what these controls do. We were running very nicely. I was singing to myself and little did I realize that I was about to go The manager closed my regulator so I can stop, but he did it too quickly and too much. Agnes's buff was bumped into mine. That made a cross. He's playing tricks on us. Come on, girls. Let's bump him back and see how he likes it. They surged against me over and over again. I tried to tell them what happened, but they weren't listening. I was rocking back and forth so much, the manager lost his footing and fell onto the ground. I tried to stop, 
but it was difficult trying to stop four heavy coaches, so I shouted at my guard, Break guard, please! So he did, and finally everything stopped. Everyone was very cross at what just happened. They said it was my fault, especially the inspector. I will not let this engine point pulling me around the lines again. It was a very bumpy ride. I was upset. My crew knew it wasn't my fault that the coaches were being mean to me. But I guess it is what it is. The next day came and it was Renaissance's turn. I had to stay inside the sheds. I knew that I should have listened to him and Agnes. But I was way too excited to ever listen to them and I regret it. Just then, Mr. Mac came to check on me and see how I was doing. I'm sorry for what happened yesterday. It wasn't your fault, Scarlowy. I shouldn't have been cross with you in the first place. The inspector is going to be here later this evening to check on you. He just wants to see how you're doing. I was surprised to hear that. I thought the inspector would have had Mr. Mac banish on me or scrap me. Meanwhile, the inspector was proud with Reneus. For new engine, you did your very best. And for and your arguments are very good. Reneus was pleased to hear that. A little later after that, the inspector came to see me. He told the manager what he thinks happened. Then, he said something about what he thinks of me. Sure thing, Inspector. And have a nice day. I was very happy that I was getting a second chance, and I now knew that I needed to be more careful and more useful. And who knew what was going to happen next after that?